Mayor de Blasio has unveiled a plan to help curb the number of nursing home deaths. But some experts say it may not stop the toll of elderly residents succumbing to COVID-19. CBS 2's political reporter Marcia Kramer has the details. The images are vivid. A refrigerated truck outside a Manhattan nursing home to hold the bodies of those felled by COVID-19. A poignant note seeking help from a resident of a Washington Heights nursing home who didn't make it. The reality is it's too late. It's too late for my family. It's too late for too many families. Mayor de Blasio hopes that's not true. He unveiled a plan to help curb the spread of the coronavirus at the city's 169 nursing homes. We have to redouble our efforts to help those who are most vulnerable. The cornerstone of the mayor's plan is testing. Once a week for each resident, twice a week for nursing home staff. A two-week blitz to start. Whatever amount of tests they need, whatever amount of lab capacity they need, we will find it for them. The mayor's plan also seeks to force staff who test positive to quarantine for 14 days. He'll provide replacement workers and send outbreak response teams to facilities with a large number of cases. But nursing home and elder abuse attorney John Daly says that while the mayor may be well-intentioned, his plan ignores the reality of how nursing homes are staffed. The aides that are providing the care oftentimes work in more than one facility. They also work in private homes to supplement their income because unfortunately they are underpaid. So I think tracking these aids with twice a week testing to ensure that they're virus free is going to be very difficult to do. The mayor also has a long term goal. He wants as many people as possible to be treated at home and avoid going to nursing homes altogether. It's not something I can tell you we can do today. But it will be part of our recovery planning. I'm wondering who would pay for it. So who pays? I would put this in the same rubric as universal health care, Marcia. But I certainly don't rule out the city uh, playing a role if that's what's going to get the job done. Given the massive cost of the pandemic to New York City, it's unclear just where the mayor will find the money. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.